this is the breakdown of what you get in in Grimoire Encyclopedia Volume 1. It's a practice of conjuration, um, fasting, preparation, all that kind of stuff. You know, the ways of invoking these spirits and things like this as well. It gives the tile line, um, which is basically the, the encyclopedia, the entries for all the grimoires are, are in chronological order. So you can work through them that way around as well. Um, probably the earlier ones are more authentic than the later ones. So the timeline and the encyclopedic entries. And then there's this spirit, spirit list, um, which basically has three columns. There's the name of the spirit, uh, the type, you know, if it's goetic or angelic or all these different things and sort of stuff. And then there's the grimoires. And of course, the grimoires are going to be abbreviations because the, some of the names are really long. So these are two or three letter abbreviations he's give, given them. So you'd have to kind of learn um, which grimoire is associated with which one. So that's, so that's, that's probably more the interesting in many respects. But, um, but the grimoire for the second volume, there's, there's a lot more chapters. And so here's the first one is on the use of crystals um, and preparation and use of all those sort of things. Then there's the ingredients for incense, make your own incense. I'm sure we all do that, don't we? Yes. <laughs> then, I've done that a lot in the past, that kind of stuff. Have you? Oh, mm. oh well, you can, you can, you can cross-reference now, can't you? See if you do. <laughs> yeah, I'll be really part. interested in that. Mm. Yeah, and I, I'm not incense is I've already brew a few uh, magical oils. I've, yeah. I have my bottle of bromelain oil standing here. All oh, right. Well, then there's the incense and oil recipes, which is preparation of all of those sort of things. And then, of course, you know, some of these things, you have to create your own sigil, don't you? And for, <clears throat> for the name of the spirits and everything else. So number four is on the use of inks, which color ink, which material, time of the day to pre prepare and all that kind of stuff. Is the material, the use, and the grimoire. So, you know, blood. Um, which is different kinds of ways of using that and in which grimoires it appears. And it's tons and tons of stuff. There's pages and pages and pages of things. You'll... Hey, but um, in, in which one is it again? You have 777 seven, seven, and then there's the others. Yeah. Baldwin's Kabbalistic Encyclopedia. No, no, it's not that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, it is a kind of 777. Seven, seven. The, the Complete Magician's Tables by Stephen Skinner has yes. a chapter. It has a, a table where it says um, what all the, you know, in, in grimoires, they, certain things actually mean certain. Things got a bit involved. So then we do, then we got magical rings. Okay, lots of other magical rings on the use of metals, you know, gold, copper, silver. Lead. Lead, all that stuff, the planetary things. On the use of plants as well. That's... That's an alchemical thing, isn't it? That's a, That's a cool thing. Yeah, it's got off your head. And they, and he gives one example of a spirit contract. I mean, it, there's, it, there's loads of them, and this one is for Padiel as an example. It's only a page, basically. So um, all the legalese and everything else that you need in that. Then spirit feasts. That's an interesting one. Um, there are an awful lot of different kinds of spirit. It's, it's making a meal for the spirit. It's making welcome and things like that. Uh, they do a lot of that thing in voodoo, don't they? I think, and, and everything else. So there, there are a lot of different feasts you can do for spirits. A lot. And then the magic circle. Um, there are many variations of the magic circle. Uh, depending on which grimoire you're looking at and all sort of things like that. So there's a long list that you can sort of work through. The timings, um, this is very much to do with the planetary hours and uh, the days of the week. And it goes into months and also the, the lunar mansions that come into this and other ways, so the zodiac signs as well. And 13 of future times, is other systems of divination that that are used in these things 
Um, there's quite a long list of those as well too. So um, you know, take a choice. Tools of a trade. That's that's a preparation of your magical implements, your wands, your cups, your swords, your all this other stuff. When to do it and how to do it and different views, of course. Yes, Bart. And how far have you already had a chance to see? And how far uh, these grimoire traditions they uh, they coincide or they collide with the Golden Dawn system? Um. Well. The timing stuff is, is is actually in 777 in the appendix. They give you the planetary hours and things like this. I mean, there's various sources for this. He's done a good job of bringing all those kind of things together. So, uh, I mean, I've, I've got plenty of to do to cross-reference and sort of add to my knowledge of all these things as well, you see. So um, th there's a lot to take away from this basic system. Basic system? Um, this system, the, the, the many systems that are in use here. And it, it's just really, <clears throat> it's easy to think there's only one way of doing things. And people have come up with lots of ways. Probably can't answer them, but I'm, I'm trying to give an overview just to sort of, so you can sort of see, you know, the, the breadth of, um, and the inclusiveness of all of these things that are going on here. So um, there's a few other bits and bobs in there as well. He is basically saying that, you know, with, with all of these things, you could, in essence, um, create your own um, grimoires yourself. 